oh hi it's me again Ugh, I was afraid of that <laughs> so Lara just Lara is it Lara or Laura Laura that freaking that Carrie girl told me it was freaking Lara I know it's Lara I, was Lara. Like, <laughs> I still call you Lara anyway I call her Jennifer so Lara's got a bad memory and doesn't seem to remember seeing Jimmy's uh, <laughs> dick in Marlene's arms coming out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how could we forget? How could you read that something you just can't forget? Jimmy was uh, playing Periscope. Uh, basically, uh, the Periscope was in very cold water. <laughs> so it was like uh, the beginning of Hunt for Red October in the, in the Arctic. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm surprised that she doesn't remember that. Because that was that that was pretty funny. That was uh, that was great. If, in fact, if we had been ice fishing, she would have missed it because his dick was so white. It just would have it just totally uh, the polar bear could have just walked by, like everything just would have been invisible. Well, Crocker did have the pool temperature way down that night <laughs> on purpose. I mean, ridiculous. Uh, anybody would have been because uh... of the ladies, the titties. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a smart guy. Smart guy. Sometimes. Sometimes. There was a lot of giggling coming from Jimmy each time he oh, came yes. out of the water. I remember when Marlene was actually holding him like a little <laughs> baby and just like <laughs> just twirling him around oh, like sound, giggling the whole sound time. of music. <laughs> oh, totally he was giggling. <laughs> Every time he giggled like a little bit more semen would just shoot out. <laughs> I remember I turned around and then uh, that carry girl goes, uh, Don't turn her around. She goes, don't laugh. I go, what do you mean, don't laugh? <laughs> so I instantly right. reached for my phone to get a picture. You can't take a picture of that. I'm like, the fuck I can't. This is great. And then she wouldn't let me take I wish I took a damn picture. Don't a laugh. Picture. Yeah. That's like seeing a car accident and telling me not to laugh. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Losers. <laughs> Loser. But I don't know how you don't remember that. I you. remember the baby part. Yeah, yeah, when she was doing a little... Did well, you get a visual ever? <laughs> Unfortunately. With, that's why I started to black out. When she was swinging him around as a baby, that's... Uh, that what are made, your other 107 stick was excuses out for blacking out? Frank. Yeah, dating me. <laughs> Which is actually why we get along so well, is the fact that I you don't remember out. a lot. Yes, exactly. I choose to live my what life? Blacked out. Do you? Yes. It's my life. It makes for a happy uh, next day when you don't really remember all the shit. That and then uh, she wakes up and then all the crazy shit I did to her while she uh, slept. Like, well, I mean, besides the rape, but then also, <laughs> <laughs> also the uh, all the guns like ARs right at her right at her head. Uh, what else have we seen? Sleeping um, under the Christmas tree. Yeah, actually, Laura <laughs> and I've got. Purpose. Huh. That's on purpose. Yeah, no, it's it's not. Still a pretty funny picture. Yeah, and I drink, <laughs> drink your beer. Yeah, yeah, and then I bring out the guns at the Christmas tree, which is not the <laughs> red writer. So this is a, a fun little story. The favorite is sledding. Oh yes, yeah. She uh, so she encouraged me. So where is this in Wisconsin? No, uh, my place. Oh, so Laura likes on, uh, to uh, pillows going down the stairs. Uh, you would think pillows. No, uh, nope. basically a uh, thin styrofoam that breaks into a million pieces, which takes I me forever. And she used a cardboard box and she's encouraging me to throw myself down the stairs. And she keeps on doing that. And she's like kind of banged up like, oh, it's the best thing. Because we we do this. We've done this before, but it's four in the morning drunk. Which, thank God, we would have broken a bone, but you know, you're just like, you're so just kind of loosened up after yeah. uh, after two dozen beers. You're liquor and, uh, Like, shit. So, fine. I'm like, I'm sick of her bitching, so basically I threw myself down the stairs for her. And like, re-injured my leg. Had like, And I'm like, why am I listening to her? Like, if, if every girlfriend that I asked to throw herself down the stairs did, I wouldn't have any questionable kids out there. He's old. Sure. Ah, we all get old. But so cute. Uh huh. So you'll uh -huh. like this. You'll like this story, and uh, she she'll probably uh. So uh, we're under the Christmas tree, you know, drunk, romantic, four thirty in the morning, doing shots, all that kind of crazy stuff. <laughs> and uh, basically, we get into the bed. She's like, "Oh, I kind of feel sick. Can I have the bucket?" I'm like, "Not until you suck my dick." <laughs> She's like, uh, "No, I, I'm not sucking your dick." I'm like, "Oh yeah, you are. I like, like, it's no. it's happening." I didn't say you no said you would throw up. You're like, I no, I said I will, but I might throw up. 
Okay. I've never said no. So instead of getting her the puke bucket, I gave her an erect dick in her mouth. And she did, God bless her. She did yeah. uh, she did suck it. Never and, said yep, no. And threw up on it? Uh she was thinking about it, yeah. And then it uh, came up a little, but I was good. Was that the <laughs> night you slept on the toilet or was that a different night? Different night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Mm-hmm. I sobered up a little. Oh, then we also have to, uh, this all started like with uh, throwing, uh, Erhard encouraging me to throw myself down the stairs, which I stupidly do, is this all started that we were going on, a, on our first cruise, and I said, just to be safe, uh, basically pretend that I'm incapacitated and you've got to get me to the room. So basically like dead fireman, and then obviously we fall, and then she's got to drag me to the refrigerator to get more natties at four in the morning. Which he did, and stuff like that. So is then this upstairs, yes, upstairs. So then I had to do the same thing, where basically I had to put her on my lap and push her, like uh, basically, and try to inch her to the stairs. And then we uh, we kind of amped it up a couple weekend we- weekends ago. We had to play Sherpa because if we ever climb a mountain and one of us breaks a leg or two legs. We I've actually, seen you guys in a national park. You're not climbing any mountain. Well, actually, we did get we did get kicked out. If you remember, we actually <laughs> got we got kicked out of Alcatraz. No, <laughs> you were we with went us. To the Muir Woods. Oh yeah, yeah, that didn't. Twenty go feet well in, you're like, can we go now? <laughs> <laughs> Red wood, fucking blue wood, green. Ugh. Fuck this. These bottle rockets won't light. It's so <laughs> yeah. damn damp in here. <laughs> How am I going to work on my tan? Yeah. <laughs> can we get out of here, Jesus? So basically, we play Sherpa, and we put each other in swaddles, and then being that upstairs, you know, has the uh, the wood floor, we're just whipping each other around, and when I'm, you know, running around the bar, there's two sets of stairs, like those little stairs up and down in the dining room, so then I'm whipping her downstairs <laughs> and stuff. There's videos of her, like, inside, like, just, like, being thrashed like about, and giggling like a little schoolgirl. You get all bruised Sherpa. up. Wow. Again, like we're we're so drunk. yeah we're so drunk that Can you guys reenact this over at Paul's house. Yep. Or, yep. Oh no. Uh, we'd like to be invited back again. I Frank's think I'm surprised you're invited today. at all. <laughs> I think it was one of those invites. Maybe like holy shit, day. all of his friends are going. I'm gonna have to. And this man. Oh, nice. Thank you. I'm gonna have to do this. Otherwise, like I'll never get invited on the boat. I don't know. <laughs> Did they get married? Who? Paul and Amy. Without or? us knowing. I don't know. Well, no, we, they're engaged. Right. Yeah. But we're all not invited to the wedding, right? Why? I'm sure even after COVID, I won't be invited. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, uh, you, know, the, you know nothing of this? They got married? No, I don't know. I'm no, not they sure. Did. No, oh, they, they didn't. But I heard that we're not allowed to come to the wedding. <laughs> I, I did hear that a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. I believe that. I did hear that a long time ago. In fact, if Paul says, hey, uh, dude, I, you know, I have so many people, I can either invite you... To the wedding or the bachelor bash party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he doesn't even have to finish the sentence. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Let's see how that.